In this tutorial, we're going to cover some of the advanced options for working with images. To begin, click on the Images icon in the toolbar, which opens up the Image Property screen. You then need to enter the location or URL of the image that you want displayed on the page. That image can be hosted on a blog you've read or on a photo sharing site such as Flickr, which I'm using for this example. Here I right click and choose Copy Image Location, then switch back to Social Text and paste that location into the URL field. The preview window updates showing the new image. You can then add a title that you want for the image. You can readjust its size. The lock icon determines whether or not the image's width and height are going to adjust proportionally or independently as you change the numbers. You can add a border to the image, entering the thickness in number of pixels that you want to display. You can then choose if you want words to wrap around the left or right hand side of the image. You can then set how many pixels of space you want between the picture and the text. Horizontal affects the space to the left and right while vertical affects the space above and below. Press OK, and you can see the image has been added to the page with all the settings we just applied. Now let's adjust it so that you can click on the image to open up a web page. Double click on the image to reopen the Image Properties box, and this time select the Link tab along the top. Here you enter the URL of the page that you want to link to, and then select how you want that new web page to open. Click OK, and save the page. Now we can see that we have a page with an image on it, and when you click on that image, it opens up the web page. In the example we just looked at, the image, the tiger, was hosted on a public photo sharing site. But I want to point out that you can just as easily use an image that's attached to a social text page. Go to the page that contains the image, scroll over to the right hand side where it says attachments, locate the image file that you want to use, right click on it, and copy the image's location. Now repeat the same steps we did the first time, but this time in the Images Property box, we'll enter the URL and it just happens to be linking to a social text page.